All of these respiratory illnesses are driving up demand for children's medicines, and some pharmacy shelves are now empty. To combat the problem, the government has released more doses of flu medicine, and some pharmacies are limiting the amount of medicine people can buy. Carter Evans says more. I had to go to four different stores. It took Megan Shane Hare a whole day to find medicine for her 19-month-old daughter when her fever spiked. I had myself looking in, my husband was checking in, we had our pastor looking in, both my parents, my siblings, and nobody could, could find anything. She thinks her daughter has the flu, just one of the viruses overwhelming doctors. We never had such an amount of people getting sick at the same time. Shane Hare is just one of many parents panicking over a run on children's pain relief medicine at drugstores. There's nothing on the shelves. It's just so ridiculous how difficult it's been just to get children's Tylenol. If you see some Tylenol or profane, you better grab it. Is there any end in sight? No, we don't know. It is a shortage. It's a national shortage. It's not just our pharmacy. To combat part of the problem, the government released reserves of Tamiflu. And to prevent stockpiling, CVS, Target, and Walgreens are now limiting purchases of over-the-counter children's medicine. What are you telling parents that are calling you in a panic? I would say don't panic. You know, the, this is not going to lead to any kind of a complication with your child. These are medicines simply to make your child more comfortable. Some parents have been using adult medications, but pediatrician Dr. Sean O'Leary tells us parents should follow recommended dosages. Can parents substitute adult medicine in these cases? Yeah, for the kids that are able to swallow pills and the dose works out properly, sure. Usually once kids get over 110, 120 pounds, that's going to match up with an adult dose. You do want to be careful in general that, that, that you're not overdosing your children with these medicines. Carter Evans, CBS News, Los Angeles.